New shoes, March 30th. About uh, three in the afternoon, 66 degrees, no wind, a little warm, but still very enjoyable. It's warmer than 66 should be. It's probably because there's no light breeze, so you feel it. Anyway, you can see we got some Adidas. I think you'll like these. Um, I definitely did want to try them on, so what do we got? It is the Adi Zero Boston 12 M. It's, I don't know if that's right, but it's an Adi Zero Boston. And it's size 13. Let's look at them. Did they give it the colorway? Oh, yeah, the color is um, ivory, uh, black, and solar red. Tissue paper. All right. Okay. What do we got? Let's see. Oh, look at those. Look at these. I like the color. I like the colors on these. The ivory part is a little, um, a little different looking. I would say it, it's not distracting. I still like it a lot. I like the solar red. Um, super lightweight shoe. It's probably. Obviously, I, this was a marathon shoe. Oh, yeah, no. I think I got a rock in it. No, that's the thing. And um, I would say it's probably seven to eight ounces, somewhere in there. I don't know the exact spec, so sorry. Um, super breathable mesh. We can look at that. As you can see. Let's just zoom. That would be easier for that there we go so kind of cool it's not a it's not a stretchy mesh it's more of like a like a screen door mesh um you know this is reinforced right there more or less like you know heat heat sealed on the tongue is weird i will say that so the tongue is super lightweight which is fine but then it's got it's it's not completely cinched in but it's got this other, for the color blocking and the laces system, like another inside sock that they threw the laces through on the, the part of the lacing system. It's not, it doesn't feel bad at all. It doesn't do anything with the fit. It's all aesthetic. Um, it Your foot doesn't catch it. At least mine didn't when I was putting the shoe on. Um, so it was okay, me like that. It's got the continental bottom, which is nice. Um, torsion. I think there's a carbon plate in here. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, that's a car. That's the just in the forefoot. It doesn't go through, obviously, all, all the way back. Um, yeah, you can see it right there. These are like there's foam right there, and then this is the carbon part of the carbon shank. So it does probably go into the torsion system here. Um, let's look at the heel. It's got a little bit of flap up and down, you know, however you wear it. Probably down, obviously. There's the heels. Firm. There's no, um, there's a light lip right here um, with padding. You can see it here. See that, that little padding? That's what catches your heel to keep you uh, cinched. When I wore, when I tried it on just now, I tried on the right one. Um, my foot was in there, and this is this bowed out a little bit, but I did not have it tightened up. But it wasn't uncomfortable. I could wear these perfectly fine with no socks <clears throat> or no show socks with it not laced. It would have been fine. Super comfortable. Super. Uh, it, it will be a definitely good workout shoe for me and casual everyday shoe. Um, I don't run. I'm too thick to run. Sadly, I work on it. But um, if you're a runner, above average shoe, I think. You know, because one, you've got the carbon, the the carbon plate, the light of it, the so it's not it's not Boost technology foam. It's probably similar to something like Nike uses. 
um, it is a little squishy, but it's but it's also kind of firm. So the heel strike is nice, but it was like trying it on. It was it was comfortable. It was not it was not it's not a like a lifestyle squishy super like what's a good example we'll just use the new new balance like the 1030s series it's not like that at all it's 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 firm which is what i think marathon runners like so um but yeah i mean it's like you can see it's, it's got that ivory and then the solar so it's it's really nice uh, where did I get it? I got it at Dick Sporting Goods. It was on sale. I got it for like one thirty nine ninety nine. They didn't endorse me. Um, use my own money. Um, definitely gonna wear them, you know, and just enjoy them. Um, the ones. <laughs> so the, re, the the shoe I reviewed before this, which is which is hilarious, that I got on super good sale. It was that Nike Invincible Zoom X. I've already sold that shoe. I tried to wear that shoe. I tried to like it, the one in the oatmeal color. It was really comfortable, but it was actually a little too squishy in the heel for me. The toe box was very comfortable, but it was just a little too squishy. One of the biggest things with me with the toe boxes is um, I prefer the toe box to be a little bit more pointier versus wider like that. My foot fits better like in, in this style of shoe than a blockier shoe. So. But anyway, yeah, but the tongue on this is definitely different. The tongue is very, very lightweight. It's got a little bit of padding, too, right there. Um, fits around your, your foot nicely. It's very comfortable. I've seen other shoes, the, your lightweight racing shoes, use this type of tongue uh, a lot. Um, but it's, this is a great, this is a great looking shoe, and it fits great, actually, too. Um, I'll have to research what this Light Strike Pro is and get back to you guys on that, so... Enjoy. Um, hope you like the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a share if you like, or uh, leave good or bad comments. I don't mind. Tell me what I'm doing good and tell me what I'm doing bad. So anyway, guys, enjoy and have a good day and make sure you get out in this nice weather.